Good evening and salutations, my Days of All Eyes fans. Jan Spears, I... Listen, I know in the past, they had better villains. And I know she's she's been on the show and been a recurring villain for quite a while. I'm just like, how's everyone just so accepting about that? Or is everyone accepting about that? Because... I feel like Jan Spears is the type of character that you would see on a typical Lifetime movie. You know, just this really desperate girl. That, in her own right, is actually beautiful and could actually, you know, be with, you know... Get a man, it's not like she can't get a man or anything like that, but she's so just like very one dimensional. And so, watching these scenes with her was just like, uh, okay, like when is this actually gonna be over? And in this, I feel like I was watching a goddamn cartoon. And this, this episode, you know, Jan Spears is all like, first of all, I, I just found this to be completely stupid. I mean, the whole time she's like, well, you know my secret. So now I have to kill you. Okay. Alright, it's not like we didn't see that coming, but sure. Um, and she's all like, well, since I don't want to dirty my hands, Chloe's gonna kill you. And at first, Chloe, you know, Chloe's like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to do that. What is wrong with you? And you know, Claire at one point is pleading with her, but Claire's like, you know what, fine. Jan, you gotta sit down, take the weapon, and you gotta kill me. So, you know, Chloe's like, alright, just give me the gun. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, so you, you're gonna... And, and granted, at the time, she just only had the gun. So, she, you know, she's like, alright, give me the weapon, I'll, I'll do it. And then Jan Spears brings out a knife, and she's like, alright, here you go. Chloe's like, well, what are you talking about? And Jan Spears was like, well, I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. But you're, you're still crazy. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and granted, at that point, even I was in the table, like, there's no way she's just going to give her the gun and just be like, all right, shoot her. <laughs> so, of course, she brings out a knife. She's like, all right, I want you to sit there and kill her. And Chloe's like, I don't want to do it. And so she's like, all right, fine. I'm like, okay. So, Jan Spears, I, I, I gotta, I gotta sit there and hand this to her. She left some, um, like, some gasoline, tied up Claire, left some gasoline there, and a, um, like a lamp, like one of those old lamps or whatever. So, the next, so any person that comes in there, they're gonna knock over the lamp, and Claire's gonna be burned a lot. Which is kind of poetic because, you know, the cabin that she chose is the same cabin that Claire tried to kill um, Sierra twice. Trying to burn her alive twice. So, I, I give her points for creativity, okay? I give her points for creativity. Um, and that's pretty much the only damn thing that she's going to get. But that, that was pretty interesting. Um, now... You know, Bella's sitting it there, she, she's like, all right, listen, um, you know, I did it. But Trent's like, that's not, I mean, but Melinda's like, that's not enough. So Melinda wants her to make it official, going down to the court, make it, you know, like, you know, you're going to plead guilty, no trial, just go straight to jail. And at first, Bella's like, um, I, don't, I don't know about all that. I didn't think we were actually going to be, you know. I'm just sitting there thinking, just get it over with, you know? Because... The whole plan is to get back Bella, I mean, the whole plan is to get back Claire, so just go through with it. So, you know, Belinda is just all so, like, like, she seems so proud of herself, like, oh, I'm just, I'm just this top lawyer or whatever, and she seems so proud of herself, and the, the sad thing is that she's wrong, and, you know, I don't know if she's trying to do this to, you know, move up or whatever, I, I don't, I don't know what she's trying to do, like, but the whole point is, I feel like by her trying to do this thing and, you know, show that she's this powerful DA, that she's 
just gonna wind up looking like a damn fool at the end and um wind up tanking her whole career. But um whatever. So Bella's like, alright, fine, just do what you gotta do. Let's just go to you know, let's just get this over with. And um you know, Sean and Philip have one last talk with her, like, oh, you sure you wanna do this? Um so everything's going through. They get to Statesville and you know, Sean sends, you know, Jen a, a picture of her in the jumpsuit. She's like, all right, cool. Here's the picture. Jen calls up and Jen's like, yeah, um, here's the thing. I, I, I'm really so happy that you kept up your end of the bargain. But the thing is, well, you're never really going to love me. And this whole thing was never going to work out. So, yeah, I'm still going to go through with whatever plan that I'm going to go through with. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda, I didn't doze off, but I was just like, uh, she's still going through with this crazy plan, and, you know, Sean's like, um, what? <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda was just like, Sean, did you really think that she was, she was just gonna go through, she was just gonna be like, alright, sure. After she already knew that you double-crossed her already, you honestly think she was just gonna just keep up, you know, keep up her, her end of the bargain? I guess she just, I kind of, I felt like they just all kind of just was like, you know what, listen, we have no other option. We can't find this girl. We don't know what's going to go on, so this is it. You know, this is our play. This is the only play we have. Um, now, Philip <laughs> calls Melinda an idiot. <laughs> Literally like, yo, listen, she didn't do it. It was Jan Spears. You are going to wind up getting both Chloe and Claire killed because... Well, you're an idiot. And to be honest, I was just like, I agree with that guy. Um, <laughs> the look on Melinda's face was like, oh, what did I do? I was like, he just said, you're an idiot. I mean, you were so quick to sit there. And, and granted, you know, she was sitting there giving Rafe such a hard time. But, oh, well, you're eliminating this person, eliminating that person. You got to get this person. We got to solve this case. Like, you know. Like, you're not working fast enough. And it's like, see, this is exactly what happens when you, um... What's the sentence that I've heard somebody on the radio say? Um, measure twice, cut once. So this way you won't look like a damn fool. And a look on your face, that just kind of says it all right there. So that's awesome. Um, but honestly, to tell you the truth, I have to sit there and say that even though I don't like Jan Spears and I kind of think she's a really weak villain, this was probably the best part of this episode. Yeah, the best part of this episode, to be honest. Because I feel like at that point, everything else just kind of goes downhill. Um, ben comes over to Statesville to see um, Clyde. And pretty much he just wants somebody to talk to. You know, he just wants somebody to, to listen to him. Um... And granted, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad conversation, but the only thing that, you know, Ben is not there talking about his, the voices in his head and I guess his dead sister saying that, you know, acting as his conscious and they're saying that, you know, he's cheating on his wife and I, I'm not going to lie. Part of that was just like, because when, Cl wow, why did this jump so loud? When Clyde was like, you know, you need to sit there and fight for Sierra, you need to sit there and get her back, you need to sit there and fly down there. It was just like, we already knew what happened the first time he tried to fight for her. She was... I'm not even going to sit there and curse her out. She was being her, just annoying. And so he was like, there's no point. And finally, Clyde was like, he said the one thing that just made sense. Clyde was like, you know what, listen, get on your bike. Just ride. Get away from Salem. You got all these people. You got all these voices. All these memories and everything like that. Just kind of pulling you in all different directions. And it's just making you feel like you're just sinking deeper and deeper into whatever this hole is in. So the best thing you can sit there and do is just get out of Salem for a little bit. Just ride your bike. Ride it anywhere. You know? Um, and Ben was like, alright. Yeah, and I honestly tell you, I think that was like the best advice. I honestly tell you, now I sit there and think about it, I think that's the best advice that anyone <laughs> has given him. Since this whole time with Sierra and how she was acting and everything like that, this was the best advice. Because I'm sitting there looking at this and I'm like, bro, listen, if you are going to your dad, this man for advice, you know, I mean, you're going to him to, 
you know, for advice and to talk to, you know you're screwed, okay? You are, are screwed at this point. So the only place you can go is up. And that's exactly where he goes, which is kind of odd. But he goes there, well, he leaves, but he winds up going to the cabin. I guess he wants to sit there and take one last trip down memory lane. And so he's heading towards the door. And, of course, we know on the other side of the door is, it's the lamp. So, yeah. Now, um, I'm about to sit there and call her real name, Jackie O'Harris. Um, Paulina comes back. And apparently, her and Marlena go way back. So, they pretty much just play catch up. And Paulina tells Marlena, Paul, Paulina, Paulette? <sighs> she tells her about her plans. For the square, how she's gonna sit there, like she bought up all the different businesses, and she's gonna sit there and kind of re, you know, like make it more inclusive and just kind of just make it more better for the community as a whole, more representation and yada yada yada. And at first, you know, at first Marlena was like, "You bought all the like, you bought all the like the stores. Like, what, what are you planning on doing with that?" I don't know. Maybe it was me, but like when she said it was like like, changing it up and stuff like that, she's been so used to it just being one way that it was, like, anything that was kind of different just kind of threw off a little bit. But after she heard the plans that, um, Paulina, I think that was her name, um, has for the square, she was like, all right, cool. Now, apparently, the founders of the town are related to, um, Eli. And therefore, you know, the twins. So, um, after that, you know, Marlena leaves and, you know, they plan on catching up again soon. But then the minute she leaves, you know, Paulina's like, oh, I feel so guilty about lying to you about what I really plan on doing with this town. Whatever it is, they're building it up to where it's going to be somewhat, I don't think it's going to be bad, um, but it's, it seems kind of sinister. It does. It seems kind of sinister. The way they are talking about it, the way they are kind of pushing this idea like, oh, she has these, you know, this this agenda for, for the town, for the town square and stuff like that, it makes it seem like it's going to be somewhat nefarious. Which is kind of odd because she doesn't come across as the type of person that can... Well, she doesn't seem like she's the type of person... Well, the thing I'm going to sit there and say, she doesn't seem like she's the type of person that would be like very you know, nefarious type, but then again, we don't really know a lot about her, and we don't really know about all her businesses, and what she had to do to acquire them, and, you know, the amount of money that she had, how she had to sit there and get it, so to be honest, it could actually be kind of bad, not gonna lie, it could actually be kind of bad, which, actually, to tell you the truth, I, I feel like that would be something that Jackie would actually want to play as far as a character, you know, I mean, I haven't really kept up with her career. I know she did Sister Sister, and she did something else. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember which, which other show that she did. But the point is, you know, a lot of these actors love to sit there and play villains. You know, if they ever get a chance to play, like, a villainous role, they're going to take it. So I have a feeling, like, whatever it is, it's going to be probably up to no good, but kind of fun. So we'll just wait and see. Um... I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm missing something. I really feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm missing something. The sad thing is that the best part of this episode was the Jan Spears stuff, was the kidnapping stuff with Chloe and everything like that. Um, I don't know why she kept calling her a ghoul. I don't know. Maybe she had it had something to do with the accident that um, mm, Chloe had. But yeah, the best stuff was the Chloe and the kidnapping stuff. The problem is, is the villain at the half where she's just so <sighs> one-dimensional. In so many ways, she kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Nell from General Hospital. Like, this very one-dimensional, very, oh, like this immature attitude. Like, oh, I, I gotta sit there and get Bella away from Sean because Sean is the only person for me, even though there's like about a billion other men on a planet that I'm pretty sure the majority of them 
actually probably look better than Sean, but for some odd reason, this chick just seems like she's so fixated on him that it's just like, really? Like, this, is, this seems like a plot from, like, a Lifetime movie. Don't get me wrong, Lifetime movies actually have gotten better over the years. I actually sit there and say that. Um, and they're not so one-dimensional like how they were in the 90s. But the point is, it's like, really? This is still your motivation? Like, after all these years? I mean, I love a good villain. Just kind of be more than just about one particular thing. It's just so... Ugh. Anyway, with that being said, I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure I missed something. And I do plan on doing, um... Like, the, the compilation of, um... Days of Our Lives. I was sitting there thinking about one like the other. I plan on doing a compilation video of um, Days of Our Lives. I'm just sitting there looking for a really good clip. So, I definitely will be doing that. Be going. I, I was going to sit there and say I'd be going down memory lane. Except for to be honest, this is actually the first time I... This is somewhat the first time I've watched this. Um, I do remember a character named Billy. Played by Lisa Rinna. This was like back in the early 2000s when I was like trying to fish for other stuff to watch. Um, but as, as this isn't memory lane for me, but it'd be kind of interesting to sit there and see the different openings. So I do plan on doing that. And with that being said, that's about that. Bleh, that's actually about it. Um, pretty sure I missed something. So if I did, write it down in the comment section below. Uh, this episode wasn't really that great to be honest, but I'm pretty sure it probably will get better tomorrow. I hope it will get better tomorrow. At least by Friday. At least by Friday. At least by Friday. I'm just going to take it until Thursday. But hopefully throughout the week it's going to get better. So with that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, I'm also doing... Um, I said this in my other review. I'm also doing like um, commentary on like certain scenes from... Soap operas and stuff like that. Days. I'm going to be doing some All My Children. And, and all the stuff like that. So if there's a scene that you want to watch. Um, you know. Memory Lane or whatever. Let me know what it is. I'll look it up on YouTube. And you know. Do a commentary. And we'll kind of just all watch it together. And see all the crazy shenanigans that's been going on. And it doesn't have to just be Days. It could be you know. Pretty much anything I can find on YouTube. Um, and that's for all the different soaps as well. So, if there's something you want me to watch or, you know, um, make a video about, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Be safe. I will catch you in the next video.